On Thursday, August 11th, 2016, I snuck out a few hours early for my summer internship. I weaved out of the office, checking my flight status, on time. On the other side of the two-hour flight, you waited in the Bay Area. <laughs> the drive to the Seattle-Tacoma airport was miserable. <laughs> my flight was boarding and I was stuck in traffic. I was crying, totally panicked, dying to see you after months apart. Now what I won't do is retrofit our current circumstance onto that memory and tell you, in that moment, I knew I was flying to see my husband. <laughs> what I definitely will do is tell you this. I knew you were someone remarkable, someone who had a grip on me in an unfamiliar way, someone worth sprinting through an airport for. <laughs> Maybe this will explain. You sent me a text message on August 2nd, just a few days before I found myself bawling on the 405 South. You had just gotten home from a club in Tel Aviv, and you, potentially somewhat inebriated, said, I'm trying to send you my x-rays. I said, what, why? To which you replied, so you can see how much my insides like you. <laughs> When we met, I was still operating in a world of clear rationality, rejecting the premise that some Hollywood screenplay love would sweep me off my feet or disrupt my ambitions. Now, to be clear, I was absolutely the one who pursued you, but what I found in our budding college romance was way more real than I could have anticipated, which is why I was scared shitless when upon receiving your text, I knew that my insides really liked you too. <laughs> All of it was corny and ridiculous and absolutely perfect. You were rewriting my life from a documentary to a rom-com. <laughs> it's been eight years since then, and you made my life full of giddy, sappy love at every turn. Your generosity in sharing your feelings is infectious. The first time my mom met you, she said to me, Josh has so much love to give. Knowing my mom, this is about the best compliment she can give. You lift me up to feel like a badass who can accomplish anything, but also remind me that I don't need to accomplish anything at all to be deserving of all your love. You expand my nerdy horizons. <laughs> you rip out pages from The Economist, highlight and annotate them, put them on my desk. Discussing these with you over dinner is the highlight of my day. You hold me accountable to be more an understanding and patient by way of example. Your capacity to see the best in other people and forgive is unmatched. Put shortly, you're the door I walk through to greet the best version of myself. When we met, oh, uh, when we met, we were naive about what life together could look like. But we've grown together and actively recommitted to the new version of this relationship that unfurls between us. Today, as we recommit, I know that we have made hundreds of consequential commitments that precede this. When I told you I'd gotten into my dream business school, you declared, we're moving to Boston without skipping a beat. When we had our first real fight, you drove 45 minutes up to San Francisco on a Wednesday night, just so that we didn't go to bed upset. You've made me countless cups of coffee and held my hands on the most difficult of days. So filled with that confidence from where we've been, I wanna make a few promises to you today. I promise to give you my 100% backing in all of your endeavors, even if that means we'll eventually have a drum kit in our garage. <laughs> I promise to keep delighting in the, in the mundane with you, living each and every day to its most delicious. I'll keep making killer focaccia as long as you keep making me tasty new cocktails. Finally, I promise to never let you forget how remarkable or, or loved you are. Now, as you know, I'm still somewhat a realist. Speaking to a friend recently about wedding vows, I asked her, now what, are, what good are promises when they're just words? I know it's not very romantic to say that at a wedding, but she told me something simple, something that I believe to my core. Uh, <laughs> the promises that matter most are the ones you keep with your feet. So here's my final vow. I promise to keep all of these promises with my feet. Whether it's running through airports to get to you or walking across the room to give you a hug, a hug after a hard day, I promise I'll be there. <laughs> if I could take an x-ray of my insides right now, we'd have a confirmed diagnosis. I'm totally over the moon, Hollywood screenplay, and then some. Obsessively in love with you, Josh Bagel. I'm glad our x-rays match. <laughs>